Hi you guys, welcome, welcome back. My name is Carrie Penny. I am the Happy Crafty Homemaker. And today we're gonna be unboxing my final month with Mountain Meadow Wool. So if you remember last month, I got this beautiful bulky weight gray yarn. I felt like utterly disappointed when I first looked at it and then touched it and was like, ugh, heaven. So I finally went to go make the cowl I realized I didn't have a 16 inch size 13, US size 13 needle anywhere. So I ordered one. It was supposed to be here a week ago after a two week wait and it's still not here. So I don't have a final project to show you guys. I was hoping to at least have one of these done before I unbox this, but it didn't happen. So this month, Everything came in a big, beautiful box that somehow my postal carrier got squished in there. Um, we got a brochure discussing this specific line. So this month's wool is Alpine. Um, it's a worsted spun yarn. Worsted style preparation and spinning produces a yarn that's smooth, dense due to the fibers being neatly combed in a parallel fashion. The smoothness of the yarn means that the stitches in your knitting will have beautiful definition. And they show like the sweater done in it. Um, it's luxury at its finest. Mountain Merino, three ply DK, worsted spun. Um, you have a panel for all the colors that it comes in. Some more projects done in it. Then we have our Creed specific Legacy Yarn Club. Um, Alpine Yarn uses wool from purebred Targi sheep. Uh, um, family run farm. Yep. Got a 25% off code if I want to buy more of the yarn. I like, I mean, that's a lot of information to sit here and y'all look at the top of my head while I read to y'all. I guess I could, with my glasses, I can see that. Um, I'm not going to do it, but I could like set them on a clipboard underneath and at least look like I'm trying to look at you guys. Um, but it talks more about the ranches that raise the animals that produce the wool for our projects. So this was very late getting here and then even later because of the post office, but, um, COVID had them running late on the shipments this month. They emailed us to let us know. They gave us a picture of what our project was going to be. Um, I saw the picture, told my mom she was probably going to steal it. Told her what colors it was in and then said probably right. I mean, are those not gorgeous? Especially for springtime. How pretty are those? They're absolutely scrunchious. Scrumptious. Um, 3.5 ounces. Going at the Grease Ranch, Gillette, Wyoming, 100% Mountain Merino. I just, I, yeah, what do you say? If the yarn were sitting around and Jennifer showed up over here, I bet you cinnamon stitches would steal my yarn. <laughs> Walk out and there's like a lump sticking out of the shoulder. Uh, yeah, so absolutely love the color palette. And this is, um... It's not off white, but it's not white. I call this creamy white because there's just a, just that ever so natural hint to it. It is absolutely gorgeous. It is very, very squishy. I'll let you see the twist. At. It's a very familiar twist for yarn in general, but it's a very, very squishy, but feels durable. Like it's going to hold up, not pill and, but not at all rough. The fiber itself is very, very soft and smooth. Um, the, the spin to it, you know, I said the Cody 
was kind of a rustic spin. The stuff last month is just pillows. It's clouds. Um, this month is somewhere in between. It feels very durable the way it's spun, but the fiber itself feels absolutely luscious. And this is definitely something I would say you could easily make a sweater that's going to hold up a long time out of. Very happy with the yarn. But on top of that, this is our pattern. I have a feeling my mom's going to try to steal that. I'm going to have to hide it when she comes to the house next time. Actually, my parents haven't been to the house yet. So when they come to visit, I'm going to have to hide that when it's done. Yeah. Uh, not at all angry. I knew what the pattern was going to be. Actually, the email they sent us is uh, shows it in the creamy white and coral, not the variegated splotchy and coral so uh i'm good with that um estimated value on the yarns 22 dollars a hank i took six mosaic shawl patterns that looked about the same detail as this one average the price together and that came out to five dollars and eighty cent forty nine dollars and fifty three cent total value for this box. Now they do sell the yarn actually for $25. So technically my estimate is $6 off. Um, I did look that up just once again, this is a specialty yarn company that this is their own yarn. They're not selling you somebody else's product. Hi, you guys. Sorry. That was a phone call I had to take. Um, where was I? So I estimated the yarns at $22. Did six Ravelry patterns and uh, paid for patterns. That came out to $5.80. Total value was $49.83. That's where it was. Um, so the box cost $41.67 a month for me. I used a 10% off coupon, bought three months at one time. So that came out to only a 16% savings this month. So not particularly high on the savings meter. However, I really like the colors and I really like the pattern. It's something different. Um, while the shawl is a very common thing to get in these subscription boxes, having something like a mosaic shawl is a little bit more interesting. It's intricate. Um, you part of, When I started these videos, I wanted to also estimate value beginner intermediate and advanced knitting um are you are you skill building are you learning new things are you doing something more exciting with things not just here's the yarn here's the cost bye um so all in all i would have to say like not the best price point per value or price value balance for this month. But I did really enjoy the yarn and I do really like the pattern and it is nice to get something that's more advanced. I just said with the inter, uh, interlacements video, you know, we got a vest and the yarn to make a vest. So having an actual garment pattern was kind of unique. Um, I don't see my percentage for box one on here. So we've had one month at a 40% savings, one month at a 16% savings, which this one is actually probably closer to a 20% savings if you look at their price for their yarn. Um, like I said, I am trying to, if it's a polite polite words to say this. If it's um, something you would expect to find at your LYS in the standard yarns zone, um, you know, a hank of sock yarn, a, um, a hank of really nice, you know, wool yarn, 
those in general run 20 to 25 dollars um so i am just kind of sticking with a middle price point for those at 22 dollars um i do have to be a little bit like the first month we had the yak yarn and i had to kind of pull a different kind of estimate out for that because you know things like yak are not in that zone they're a little bit more expensive that's like getting a cashmere blend versus just a wool blend um so there has been some variation on either side as far as the cost points i will i am really far behind on doing these um i think next week I will be able to finish up Alpaca Direct and we'll be able to get on with these as far as making the projects and coming back and actually reviewing the quality of the yarn and things like that. But um, I probably wouldn't expect a final review on this until probably the end of the month, maybe. And that's a huge maybe. Um looking at the pattern for the shawl the color work section is only one spot in mosaic just for the record if you are new to knitting um to do color work the order the uh, color work that looks you know kind of more like this not you know stripes and stuff um the order I would recommend going in would be Mosaic to Fair Isle to Intarsia. Um, and maybe that's something I can come back and really discuss in another video maybe with you guys. But Mosaic is based on slip stitch patterns. So each row you're only working with one color. Uh, Fair Isle, each row you generally only have two colors. Uh, looks very similar. Um, actually, Fair Isle. So in Fair Isle, see, like I said, it's, it's, you can tell the colors are moving across the rows, but when you look on the inside, you have floats where you strand the unused yarn behind the working yarn. And Tarja which I don't have anything that's knitted or crocheted in tar just sitting here, is like an argyle sweater where you have the, the diamonds. And the color for that diamond, when you look on the back, there's a ridge where you've cut the yarn on either side. So if you're not familiar with Intarge at all, um, it's a block of color inserted into the background color. There's no stranding. There's no drawing colors up and down mosaic is definitely easier to do um because you're not having to think of as many things at the same time fair isle is a little bit more tricky because you are working with two yarns at the same time and you need to keep your floats flat make sure you're not um drawing them too tight like i said on uh my, sorry, these are projects from my blast from the past that I, I did last week, shared last week. But um, you can see where there's like, I've got these drawn just a little too tight. And it creates kind of a pucker in the fabric. Not when I'm wearing it and it's, you know, stretched. It's not noticeable. But you can definitely tell that I pulled these floats just a little too, too tight. Hello, Crazon. Come on. Do you want to say Hello. I don't know if y'all could hear his little mew, but he's looking at me like he demands attentions. Um, so this, I would definitely say is a great, based on just looking at the pattern. Now I haven't worked it yet. A great advanced beginner intermediate project. It would be a really good way to work into color work if you've never done stranded color work or anything like that um so it has value outside of just the cost point value 
Um, like I said, with this, I also didn't expect an extreme, with this box, I didn't expect an extreme um, discount value on it. They are a small company. They are a small manufacturer uh, or a small mill. Uh, it is all domestic product for us in the U.S., which is not a very common thing when it comes to the fiber industry. Um, so those things do cost a little bit more. You're not getting import fees, but you do have um, domestic ranching costs. And uh, we have very tight regulations on ranching here. Um, so yeah, that that is what I got this month. I still haven't made a decision on the Christmas stocking for month one. That may or may not get done, but the cow will be done. <laughs> um, as soon as I can get a size 13, 16 inch needle, I will have the cow done. So we will have two projects to discuss from that. So um, please bear with me while I get these projects done. I've had a lot of things I really wanted to work on. Um, I've been doing a lot of dyeing recently. Um, a lot of these projects have taken thought, so they're not, um, I can sit there on the sofa engrossed in a television program and uh, work on them. So that's what we got. I don't want to take up too much of your time. It is, uh, this should be going up on Saturday morning, so I want you guys to watch all the wonderful content that's going to be coming out today. So I hope you guys have an amazing weekend and I will see you real soon. Bye, guys.